tried to call out them. So they were obviously a little annoyed that I wasn't going to be able to make it in. Um, so I was like, okay, well that sucks. I tried to get somebody to cover my shift between then and now, which is like 3 o'clock. I woke back up around 2.30. <clears throat> Didn't hear back from my buddy. See if he could pick it up. I'm also taking some Zycam and some ibuprofen when I need it. I'm pretty much suppressing most of the symptoms. I just feel really crappy, but I'm gonna go to work anyway because I am a good employee. RPSCV, Employee of the Year. Oh. Anyway, I didn't necessarily want to be sitting at home, sitting at home for the third day in a row and missing out on uh, opportunities to make some money. The more I make this paycheck, the more I can put towards stickers and maybe t-shirts. Trying to get that together for you guys. I'm really stoked. You'll see in the last video, I just popped up today, actually, a little bonus Friday video. Hello, what's up? I got a new little overlay there. So I think that looks pretty dope. I'm gonna try and uh, get some stickers out of that maybe. So that'll be cool. Yeah, this traffic sucks. Cop pulled somebody over up there. We've got a cop over here on the shoulder while well, on the exit ramp. <clears throat> Oof. I do feel a lot better than I thought I was feeling this morning, actually. Look how slow everyone's going because they want to check this out. And this guy's just gonna be like getting pulled over and it's not a big deal and then everyone's there's no traffic. Oh, maybe they got hit, I don't know. Look at this, all of a sudden, no, no traffic, stop and go. It's all uncongested again. That's the look of a guy who doesn't use his blinker. Not the most attractive, guys. You don't want to be that. I don't know if he knew I was there, but I was definitely going to give that guy space because he was obviously getting off or getting on from the exit would be really stupid of me to pull forward in that situation. Such a nice guy. Look at me. The guy behind me just ran that red light for sure. The guy crossed the light gave me the right away, which was awesome. Um, Cause we're both turning the same way. But the thing is, if the light's right, he can still turn right. I can't. And I was already into the intersection. So just getting over that cold thing I had, kind of, like I'm just on the very tail end of it, so I still feel a little crappy right now. And I think some of that might even be the, uh, the Zycam on an empty stomach. So, I don't know. I'm heading over to my parents' house before work today to get my hair trimmed up a little bit. A little puppy got his head out the window up here. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are these people? What is this van doing? I just saw him. I think he just yanked over right here because he was like stopped in this lane basically like nearly stopped at least so I think I'm gonna start answering questions in my videos that people are asking me on a daily basis things that I think might answer uh, a broad number of people's questions just the other day Dat Lean asked me another question. What does RPS TV stand for? How did I come about picking it? RPS TV stands for Revolutions Per Second TV. And how did I come up with that? I honestly had the channel ready to go for the most part. I had been documenting, getting footage together, investing in the equipment, etc., for a few months at that point and I was ready to really start my channel and get it going. And I had no clue what to name it, honestly. So I actually hit up michaelperish.net, as he has come to be known. We just went out for the day and hung out, grabbed some food, wandered around Waterford, and just brainstormed for like an hour or two, throwing out ridiculous ideas. When we were finishing up lunch at this crappy Chinese food buffet, after melting our brains, walking through supermarkets, everywhere we're going, just looking at everything on the shelves and throwing a name out based on <laughs> whatever that came to mind. I was like, what about like uh, something where it's just the abbreviated, like the letters, rather than picking out like a name like Snowcat. I know Snowcat rides with a guy, goes by the name of DSG. Ducati sales guy is his name. <laughs> so funny when I figured out what that stood for. I was like, oh nice, okay, that makes sense. Sounds way cooler when you just say DSG though. <laughs> he 
said, what about uh, RPS? And I was like, revolutions per second, RPS? And you know, I kind of like it. What about RPS TV? And it kind of just stuck. And we both decided that that sounded sick. I slept on it, kept it in mind for a few days. And when I got around to putting the YouTube channel together, I said, this is the one, the birth of RPS TV revolutions per second and somebody also in one of my videos asked me so what does it stand for and I answered it and he said oh, okay so if you're going 10,000 rpms how many revolutions per second is that so dragon ace 360 asked me if I would review my helmet and he also asked me how it is riding in wet weather so I'm not gonna actually review the helmet but I'll talk about it real quick Kitties! <laughs> what does that mean? Maybe they just love kitties. So my helmet is a showy quest and I have it in I think gunmetal. It's like 300 bucks, 300, 350, something like that. It's a good helmet, it's solid, uh, feels great, fits great. It's not too heavy, but it's not super lightweight either. But in all reality, it's like not an amazing helmet, honestly. I got this for Christmas because I needed a new helmet. And I did throw this out as an idea for a helmet, so they got it for me. If I could go back again and pick out a different helmet, I would. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to be picking up a new helmet soon. I think I'm going to pick up an AGV K3S V. I just like the more aggressive look and uh, they're a little more lightweight quality helmets. And it's only 200 bucks, so like, hell yeah. But overall, decent helmet. Wouldn't say not to get it, but if you're going to spend $350, I think there's much better looking helmets, probably more lightweight helmets, etc., out there to pick up if you do a little research or whatnot. So as far as riding in rainy weather or wet weather, I carry rain gear with me all the time. So because I'm a daily driver, like I don't have a choice if it rains and I gotta be at work, you know? I have to still ride. I check the weather, I'll head out early if I have to. And if I can't avoid it, I rain gear and ride through. Riding in the rain sucks. You get wet, it's unavoidable. I will bring like an extra pair of pants extra pair of socks, shoes, underwear, all sorts of stuff. Just a little extra pair of everything. That way, if for whatever reason I happen to get wet beneath the gear, I can just swap out and be dry again when I get to where I need to be, especially if it's like at work. Uh, as far as uh, physically riding in it, uh, maneuverability, traction, etc. Man, it is so slick in, in wet weather. Like slamming your brakes is not an option. You're gonna slide, you're gonna lose control, etc. Hit the gas too hard, even if you just start accelerating slightly heavily. Like you're expecting your back wheel to just like loose up and start spinning. It happens all the time. It's crazy. Uh, but you get used to it and then you kind of learn that and so you just ride 10 times more careful than you normally would you don't take a corner leaning you take it as upright as you can at all times you do it slower you ride slower you don't accelerate fast and you definitely don't get near anybody in front of you that could that could slow you down too quickly because you don't have emergency braking at your disposal you're probably going to go down so you just keep exit plans you just keep your distance and you ride super safe it is beautiful out though, holy cow dude. We have the Toy Story wallpaper going on up here again. And it is uh, bright and shiny. Oh man, look at this guy, he's going places. <laughs> he's got like massive bags, dude. Let's check him out, let's check him out. What's he riding? That's a big bike, or it looks big, the fairing in the front. Ducati of sorts. AGV helmet. I like it. Get off your phone, man. Clueless, still on her phone. She almost took the exit and then just drove on to the interstate, crossing over two lanes while looking down at her phone. You're driving at like 60 miles an hour, not looking where you're going. Like, how does that sound like a good idea to you? Because you want to text somebody, yeah, I'm on my way for lunch. Thanks, Becky. Looking like a ninja swatting love bugs straight out the air, my dude. I had my left turn signal on the whole time when I made that right turn. I thought, I saw it blinking. 
So I thought I had changed it over to the right when I, after getting off the exit. Wait, no, left turn signal. Yeah, I have no idea why it was on the left. Cause like, I got off to the right. I don't know, but it was left the whole time. So what up, oh, making sick left turns out here, my dudes.